Hello everyone, again, um, and uh, thank you for joining this session. Uh, this is going to be a very exciting talk. Uh, this is by Joshua Stockner. Uh, he's from NASA uh, Glenn Research Center, and he'll be telling us about pre-trained microscopy models for segmentation and uh, microstructure quantification. Uh, Joshua, in case you don't know, you have, you know, you, you, I'm sure you know you have 15 minutes, but two minutes before the end of your talk, I will intervene just to let you know that you have two minutes left. And uh, the audience, you know, you can type in your questions on the uh, right-hand side in the chat function, and we'll ask as many questions as possible. So uh, the stage is yours. All right, great. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you allowing me to present here. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about how we pre-train neural network encoders uh, to improve the segmentation accuracy of microscopy images and for microstructure quantification. Uh, so this work is funded by Transformational Tools and Technology at NASA. You're my collaborators. All the code and models are available here. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, so the way we make materials affects the properties of the materials, uh, where the properties is a function of processing. But we really want to reverse this and have our fit for purpose properties that we decide ahead of time that are going to meet our customer's goal, uh, goals, solve our mission requirements, and find the optimal processing conditions that will get us there with the fewest numbers of experiments. Uh, so with new modern approaches, we can start with some data, legacy data or a new experiment we do, build a machine learning model. This is a new part where we build a model that establishes the relationships between processes and processing. Then we use some optimizer to find, solve this optimization problem and we can find the optimal processing conditions. And if we do this iteratively, then it's known as Bayesian optimization or active learning, where we can achieve our fit for purpose materials with fewer experiments and less money. Um, but we're missing something here and that's the microstructure because for many material systems, small changes in the processing space has sudden discontinuous changes in the microstructure space, which in turn has discontinuous changes in the property space. So if we want to build models that link the processing of properties, we really need to capture the microstructure of the materials to get the full PSP relationships. Um, the question is, how do we quantify the microstructure of a material? Uh, traditionally, what we've done is hand measurements where we just maybe use software to draw a whole bunch of lines to measure ligament diameter, for example, or there's ASTM standards to use the intercept method to get grain size analysis. Um, but there's a lot of potential for bias here where different researchers may select different uh, part uh, measure in different places and think, oh, that's where the ligament diameter is. It's also extremely time consuming and tedious. Um, so automatic quantification can allow us to make repeatable unbiased measurements and capture a lot more data, which we can use to feed uh, models to establish the PSP relationships. So there's several different approaches for this. One is recipe based, where we design some bespoke computer vision algorithm to maybe perform segmentation, uh, find the backbone along the ligaments and calculate the distance and then do some matrix operations to get a radius measurement along every single pixel along the backbone. Um, or more recent approaches are more data-driven where we input the image into the model and just extract uh, some fe latent feature vector. So the technique that uh, we've developed will improve the segmentation step for recipe-based and also uh, the data-driven. So the state of the art for image analysis currently is um, convolutional neural networks, although vision transformers are catching on in a big way, and this technique will help improve both of those. So a CNN has two parts. The first is an encoder, which takes this input image and it uh, extracts some feature vector that represents the images. And then some task-specific head, which takes that feature vector and does the task that you want. For, for example, classification, object detection, uh, segmentation, whatever image task that you're looking to do. Now this requires a lot of training data. So what's done is to pre-train these models on images, hundreds of millions or maybe millions of images of everyday life and show it, hey, here's a picture of a dog, here's a picture of a cat. And then it's gonna learn filters to extract those features that'll be useful um, for predicting the class. And then you can take off this classifier head to, through transfer learning, take this encoder, which already knows a lot about image analysis, and put it into a, another task, such as segmentation. And it works extremely well for microscopy segmentation. And um, the reason we 